Good afternoon. This is Tony Chernowski, manager of the Practical Investor LLC. Today is May the 13th, 2009. The topic today is the trend line is broken. What happens next? This video is meant for instruction and entertainment purposes only. This is not a solicitation to buy or sell any security. The purchase or sale of a security may result in a loss of principal. Please consult with an expert advisor who may explain the risks of any investment you may wish to consider. You cannot invest directly in an index. Well, good afternoon. I just thought I would pay you a visit to let you know, uh, maybe I'll be the first to let you know that uh, the indexes have broken their trend lines today. Remember in a prior video, one of the things that I said was watch those trend lines carefully because they will give you an idea when things are about to change very dramatically. And so it is. We've got a trend line break today, uh, and uh, I'd like to just point out a couple of things about it. Let's go directly to the charts. The first chart that I'll start with is the NASDAQ 100, and you can see that it actually broke its trend line about a week ago. This gave me a heads up that things were about to change dramatically in the other indexes too, since the NASDAQ 100 leads these other indexes. What I have on the chart is just an indicator, an arrow pointing where the 50-day moving average is. Right now it's at about 1281. And there's an important pivot point at 1205 where the market found uh, sold off very briefly and found support uh, at the end of March. Uh, right now, that area or the 50-day might provide some support uh, for the standard or for the NASDAQ 100. Uh, we're just going to be watching those areas because those are potential bounce areas where we could see uh, something else uh, going on. If we change to the industrials, we see the same thing. Today, the Dow Jones and, uh, broke its uh, trend line, and uh, the pivots and 50-day moving average, by the way, are just under 7,800 in the Dow. If we change over to the sta Standard & Poor's 500 index, we also see the 50-day moving average at the mid-820s and an important pivot at 780 in the Standard & Poor's Index. So we have some important areas. Uh, by the way, these, are, these could be quite a dramatic downturn uh, just to see um, these indexes find support at these levels. But that's one of the things that an analyst does is, is simply look for areas where the market has provided support in the past and, and possibly these areas provide the potential for at least a bounce, if not uh, some type of support for the market to go even higher. <clears throat> what I'd like to do, just do right now is to say, be aware, uh, this market is not friendly to the bulls right now. And uh, it might yet be again in the future, but at the moment, uh, we need to see how these indexes uh, are treated at their pivot and uh, lines or their moving average lines where they found support in the past. So just be aware of that. Um, uh, you might want to just keep your old powder dry. Uh, this is not a place to buy. In fact, uh, even if we find a bounce at these areas, this may not be a place to buy, uh, but rather a place to watch and see what the market does next. In the meantime, I'll be posting um, uh, observations on uh, things as they happen in my daily newsletter. For those that wish to subscribe, you may contact me at my email address at tonyc at thepracticalinvestor.com or you can click on my website at www.thepracticalinvestor.com and um, on the left hand side of the bar you'll see uh, uh, other services listed under the company heading. So in the meantime, be careful, be aware uh, the market is no longer trending upward because the trend line is now broken. We need to see what happens next. And uh, if for those of you that are interested, I'll be very glad to uh, add you to my subscription list. Uh, we uh, welcome uh, any inquiries about uh, our services. So thanks very much for spending the time, and uh, I wish you good profits, and by all means, do the right thing.